Hi, welcome to Chemical Reactions. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to start our discussion of double replacement reactions. And this is double replacements part one, because this particular topic is a long one and it's going to take a lot of examples. So this particular tutorial is going to focus on a general overview of double replacement reactions, predicting the products, a double replacement reaction walkthrough, and driving forces of double replacement reactions. General overview of double replacement reactions. How does one recognize a double replacement reaction? That is our driving question for today. What we are basically looking for are ions from two different compounds that are going to switch with each other when dissolved in water. So we are going to be dealing with situations in aqueous solutions. Remember, aqueous is expressed as AQ. Double replacement reactions are identified by the presence of two compounds as reactants and two compounds as products. Most double replacement reactions will not occur unless the reactants are dissolved in water. So again, we return to the term aqueous so that the compounds can be separated into ions. The symbolic form for a double replacement reaction is AX plus BY yields BX and AY, where the A is going to hook up with the Y and the B is going to hook up with the X. So the idea here is that the ions are going to switch partners. Predicting the products of a double replacement reaction. This is the general process of how to predict the products in a double replacement reaction. The first thing that you're going to do is break up the two reactants into positive and negative ions. Then you're going to switch the two positive ions. We need to rewrite the products being very careful to write the correct formula of the new compound on the product side of the equation. So again, the A is now going to go with the Y to form AY and the B, which is representing a positive ion, which is why it's listed first, will go with the X, which is a negative ion, which is why it is listed second. Let's look at an example. What are the products of the following double replacement reaction? We're dealing with silver nitrate and sodium chloride. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your two reactants and break them down into their positive and negative ions. So AgNO3 will be broken up into Ag plus one and NO3 minus one. NaCl will be broken up into Na plus one and Cl minus one. Now we're going to take the positive ion from AgNO3 and place it with the negative ion of NaCl. So product one will be Ag plus one and Cl minus one to give me AgCl because the plus one and the minus one are going to cancel out. For product two, we're going to take the Na plus one and put it down here, Na plus one with the NO3 minus one, plus one and minus one will cancel each other out. So our formula will be NaNO3. So our final equation will be AgNO3 plus NaCl will give us AgCl and NaNO3. And then the final thing that we need to do is just to check to make sure that it doesn't need to be balanced. And if we look at everything here, we see that it is already balanced. One Ag, one Ag, one nitrate ion, one nitrate ion represented on the product side, one sodium ion, one sodium ion, and one chlorine ion, and finally, another chlorine ion. So this is a balanced reaction, so we don't need to do anything further. Driving forces of double replacement reactions. There are three situations that might cause a double replacement reaction to occur. If a precipitate, otherwise known as a solid, is formed as a product. So if we look at this example, we have K2CO3 plus CaC2H3O2 coming together. We form CaCO3, which is a solid, and KC2H3O2, which is soluble. 
but since this solid is formed, the reaction will be driven forward and go to completion. A double replacement reaction will also occur if one of the products is a gas. So here we have NH4Cl reacting with SROH2. The products are SRCl2, and then we would be forming NH4OH, but that's really, really unstable. That is the product of our double replacement reaction, but this is so unstable that it actually automatically breaks down into water and ammonia, and that production of ammonia right there, that NH3 gas, is a gas, and it will drive the reaction forward. So the production of a gas will also make this type of reaction happen. The final situation is a reaction will occur if a molecular substance such as water is formed. So if we look at this example of NaOH plus HCl gives us NaCl and H2O, water is formed that is a molecular substance. It is made of two nonmetals, and when it is formed, it will drive the reaction forward and the reaction will go to completion. So what did you learn? We did a very general overview of double replacement reactions. We talked a little bit about predicting the products. We did a double replacement reaction walkthrough, and then we talked briefly about the driving forces of double replacement reactions. In my next video, we'll go over double replacement reactions with a lot more examples in detail. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.